Early in the morning, early in the morning, early in the morning, early in the morning. Welcome back to the channel, guys. You already know who it is. It's your boy Cam. Topical juice, or should I say, TJ? <laughs> Yo, someone in my comments in one of my last two videos, one of, I can't remember what one it was, called me TJ in the comments and I, it literally made my whole day. Like, cause you know what that means for me? That means we're becoming a community, we're becoming friends, like you're shortening man's name, like TJ, like. <laughs> Big love to you for that. I definitely replied to you saying love, but yeah, 100%. Anyway, back again with an interesting topic very very interesting topic one that has been spoken about quite a lot on social media in amongst my community in and amongst kind of my generation and things like that should you always support your friend's creativity the way i'm going to structure the video is i'm going to talk about what support actually means and what support looks like i'm going to talk about why you should and i'm going to talk about why it's not always that easy and i'm just going to round it off at the end so i'm going to filter my opinion throughout the video i'm not going to save it to the end of my thing and you'll, you'll get a gist of what my opinion is straight away I, I personally believe you should support your friends but it's not always that simple so before i get into the video please hit the thumbs up if you're new to the channel hit the subscribe button hit the bell to be notified so you can see this ugly mug on your screens as soon as i drop it and if you're already subscribed and you're new welcome welcome to the gang welcome to the community anyway what support looks like to me so support can come in different forms it can literally come in different forms the first way you can support is by contributing to someone's creativity so for example i was in i've been in the booth with my bro many a time when he's been making music we might be tweaking stuff here and there obviously first and foremost his creativity is his creativity he's the boss of it but you know i contributed other people contributed in some ways it might be a tweak in this that and the other it could be anything so you can actually contribute to the music, the video, whatever. That's one way. Another way you can support your friends is feedback. Giving feedback. V feedback from my videos. I appreciate so much feedback. You cannot grow as an individual without receiving feedback. I'm very receptive to feedback. Only when it comes from a good place and it's not just hostile. Like, I know as this channel gets bigger, I'm going to come across more narrow-minded people or more kind of people that just judge me from a video and then they spew their opinions and I'm just going to be like, ugh. But I do appreciate feedback, so... Yeah, keep it coming. It could be little things, like for example, if to grow on YouTube, for example, you, how long people watch your actual videos for, that contributes to the YouTube algorithm. So I've been telling my friends, oh, guys, guys and girls, whenever you watch my video, oh, can you please watch the video from start to finish? Like just, you know, whenever you're ready to watch it, just watch it all the way through, start to finish. That would be amazing, because that helps, that helps grow my channel. So people can support that way. And the thing is, you'll find that people do support like this quite, they'll find it easier to support like this. Sharing is the one that's quite interesting. Now you, you can support by sharing, but sharing is the one that not everyone wants to do, G. Not everyone wants to share your stuff, dog. You get me? And that's that's the, that's where it starts getting a little bit techy. Anyway, that's how you can support. So why you should support your friends. I could give you a million and one different reasons why you should support your friends. From the fact that, oh, if you know your friend is has low self-esteem and they're putting themselves out there, you should want to support that growth. It could be the fact that you've seen how hard your friends worked and you want to support them that way. It could be the fact that you are also a creative yourself. You may have a business, you may have a, a some sort of creative outlet, so you know how difficult it is to get engagement. So then you want to sh you should share it because of that reason. But forget all of that. I'm you can you're smart. You lot are smart enough to think of that yourselves. I'm not saying you're not smart. I think about what I'm about to say next. But you know what I'm trying to say. I'm going to offer you a different perspective. Look at it from a holistic point of view, yeah? First things first, actually. If you're truly friends, you should want to support your friends. I want my friends to want to support, my, to want to support me. If you don't, or if for whatever reason you don't want to support a certain endeavour, ask yourself why. Is it the content? Is it something else? Is it an insecurity? Is it, you know what I'm saying? Like, what is it? Ask yourself. But that's, that's neither here nor there for a minute. Look at it from a holistic point of view. If you invest in me, if you support me now, that is gonna pay dividends in the future. Invest in me now is an investment in you. This is what people don't understand. People look at, people in life, yeah, especially in YouTube industry, but in life, especially in a Western capitalized society, we're very doggy dog, we're very selfish. Forget, this isn't just friends, this is, this is human, human mentality, human psychology, we're very selfish. And what I mean by selfish is that people think that if if someone's big, for example, or in their creative field, if I'm if I'm a, if someone's a big YouTuber, or a big musician, whatever, some people think that if they share their friend's creativity, or if they share someone's creativity, that all their fans are just going to transfer from them to this person. No, that's not how it works. You're giving this person exposure. So the fans aren't going to go from them to do. They're going to have another option. 
But what people don't understand is that if you invest in me, when I blow up, that's only going to benefit you or whoever, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm speaking to the camera, but I'm talking about my friends now. I'm talking about the friends that, I'm talking about, you know, people that watch this that haven't invested in me now, for example. But don't invest in someone for a, for an invest, like to actually get something back. You should want to invest in them first and foremost. But like I'm saying, the point I'm trying to make is look at it from a bigger point of view. If you help me, that's only going to help you in the long run. If you're a YouTuber and you help grow my channel, we do, we, we might do different things on YouTube. Therefore, the fans that I get, or not fans, I don't like people calling people, I don't like calling people fans. The, the supporters that I get going forward, they're gonna be a different demographic to yours. So I can share mine with yours. We can grow, we can win, we can all eat. This is what people don't understand. It's, it's crazy, people are just too tunnel vision on I must grow, I must grow, I must, you know what I'm saying? No, we should, you, you should wanna support your friends. And plus the other reasons that I said before, how hard it is how difficult it is to grow, how hard it is, it is to, it is so hard to sit in front of a camera and want and get people to want to watch you in front of this camera. You get me? In addition, the world is run by corporations. Aren't people bored of, 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 of corporations running shit? Nah, let's, let's actually the creative stuff start running stuff. On the flip side, I understand it's not always that easy to support your friends and, and there's a few different reasons for that. Some of them are trivial, some of them are real. The first reason why someone might not want to support your creativity is they might not agree with it. I might, I might have dropped a video, for example, that it could, be, it could be quite sensitive. I might have an extreme opinion and my friend might not want to share it. Okay, fine. No problem, I, I, that's fair. But then again, I challenge that. If a friend's really your friend, why not just tell me? Just be like, yo, Cam, um, to be honest, uh, I, I feel that video, I'm gonna like the video for you. I'm gonna watch the video through, but I'm personally not gonna share it because it, it, it goes against my views. Is that hard? No, it's not. It was a hard thing. It was a flimmy, it was a thingy question. Uh, what do you call them questions? It was a rhetorical question. It's not hard. <laughs> it's not hard at all. It could be the fact that you, like for example, I always share my friend's stuff. Like, as in, if I remember, I will. It's simple as that, it's just the way I am. I always put my friends before me, simple. But I might not always share at a certain time because I understand how the Instagram algorithm works. So for example, when you post a story, it posts, you go kind of at the front of the queue. So like I would rather share someone's stuff at the end of the day when I've already promoted my, my own stuff so that I can share everyone else's stuff but then mine will sit at the front if that makes sense. But then I always I would share so I'll, I'll always share stuff though if that makes sense. So that might that, that might explain why I might not share something straight away. I might well, I might share at the end of the day or the next day. Does that make sense? So I, I get it. It could be it could be it could be the fact that you're moving a bit incognito on the gram and you sharing something might mean that someone that you're trying to avoid speaking to it's popped up. I get it. I get the I get the intricacies of Instagram and, and this that like share and stuff. I get it. Like it's fair, but ultimately, in my opinion, it comes down to wanting to support your friends. Is it so hard to click a button and press like? Is it so hard to click a button and share on your Instagram story or share on your Snapchat story? Is it so hard to click a button and share a, a specific article that your friend wrote and share it to another friend that you might think might like that article? No. It's not hard. And the thing is, like one of my friends said, at the end of the day, no one owes you shit. And I, and I appreciate, I get that. No one owes you a damn thing, but that's just not gonna run for me personally. If your, if your friends are your, truly your friends, it's really not that hard to make the effort, in my opinion. But that's because my, that's just the way I am. And I've, and I've come across people that have done the same to me and shown real dedication and loyalty to me. And, and I've paid that back in kind. And I love that relationship. We can all win, we can all eat. There is no, there, 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 I just don't believe there's no real, re unless you fundamentally disagree with something that the, that the creative, that, 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 if you fundamentally disagree with the creative art itself, I personally don't think there's any reason why you shouldn't share, in my opinion. I'll give you a prime example. A couple of my friends have a really fantastic business called Party Here, and I'm gonna put Party Here, Instagram in the description, it's the most fantastic, amazing pub quiz, black, black, black kind of focus pub quiz in London. Please check that out, it's amazing, it's the best in London, it's the only one in London. Anyway, one weekend we were coming back from Birmingham, and that Sunday, we were going straight to this to this party here motive. Me and my boys were effed. We were absolutely shattered, hungover, tired, ill. We didn't want to. We didn't want to go. To put it simple, but we paid. It's our close friends' creative business. We have to support. We, we, if we didn't, we'd ruin the teams. You know this that, and yeah, blah, blah blah. You get me? So no questions. No questions. We did not want to be there, but we turned up. It's that simple. You get me? It's going above and beyond for your friends. At the end of the day, yeah. I will not derate you or underrate you or hate you or look at you any less if you don't share my stuff. Not at all. Not even a bit. Not, uh, 
if you say, as in, if, if, if you don't share one of my posts, one of my stories, one of my nothing, whatever, we're good. We're still going to be friends. But if you do and you go above and beyond, I'm going to rate you more, obviously. You know, I'm not going to underrate you or derate you if you don't. But of course, if you do, I'm going to rate you. The prime example is exactly what I just said. We did not want to go there, but we turned up anyway. That's the difference, in my opinion, between friends, real friends, or and just the friends and people that are just like, I don't know. Because not honestly, some pe people, not everyone has the vision, man. Not everyone, not everyone agrees with your energy. Not everyone wants to be involved in what you want to be involved in and engage with you. Of course, everyone has their own lives. Everyone has their own story. Everyone has their own pathway. Fine, no problem. But I just feel like I connect with the ones, I connect with people more when they've actually got that vision. They've got that, they're not, they're not, they're a bit more selfless rather than, they're not, not selfish, but they're a bit more selfless, you understand? So that's my opinion. Listen, like I said, I, have, I, I haven't judged anyone that doesn't share nothing like that, but I will rate you more when you do, especially if I've asked you to share. Because me personally, I don't ask no one to share my stuff unless it means something to me. So if I've asked you to share something and it has, and you haven't done that, and you know, especially if you know something about me or you know it means something about me or whatever, I'm, that that's still gonna I'm gonna be disappointed in you. And if you're my friend, that is, and you know, you know what I'm saying. But ultimately, everyone can do what they want to do. No one's entitled to share your stuff. No one has to share your stuff. I just personally feel like you should. But no one, that like, is what it is at the end of the day. So, so yeah, that's the end of the video. Please hit the thumbs up. Please like, please share, please support me. I love you. And I'm joking, but please, um, I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.